What a strange fall and winter this has been. I am usually so excited about football season, I can hardly contain myself. But this football season has been unusual, to say the least. So much about it has been different. Masks being worn on the sidelines, few if any people in the stands to cheer, players unable to play and coaches unable to coach because they've been infected or exposed to COVID, games sometimes even being canceled altogether. Instead of people in the stands, some fans purchased life-size cutouts of themselves and those were placed all around the stadium to make it look like people were there. Huh, isn't that strange? And I guess it helped make the players feel like they were supported. So many changes. Sometimes, uh, oh, something that hasn't changed is that the National Football League is having its final game to determine the champions. I'll bet you've heard of the Super Bowl, haven't you? That game will be played tonight in Florida. It's our last chance to watch football this season, even if you aren't a fan of the Kansas City Chiefs or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Besides the Super Bowl, something else hasn't changed during this unusual time. There are people all around us who are in need of food because they don't have enough money to buy food for themselves and their families. But thank goodness, one other thing hasn't changed, the Super Bowl of caring. It's been around for 31 years, and I am so thankful that it exists. If you're wondering what it is, the Super Bowl of caring is a charitable event that collects money and food for food banks all over the country. In 1990, the Super Bowl of Caring began with a simple prayer by a Presbyterian youth group in South Carolina. The prayer went like this, Lord, even as we enjoy the Super Bowl football game, help us be mindful of those who are without a bowl of soup to eat. After that prayer, other churches began asking their congregations to donate either a dollar or a can of soup on Super Bowl Sunday. And it just kept growing from there. And from that simple prayer 31 years ago, a movement started that has raised over $160 million. Wow. So we are asking today for people to donate a dollar or maybe two or more, or a can of soup, or two, or more. If you're not attending church in person and can't drop a dollar or a can of soup in one of our donation soup pots, you can still help out. You can either drop donations off at the church office this week, or you can make a donation directly to a food bank. Every little bit helps. Let's have a prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, on this Super Bowl Sunday, help us to be mindful of those who don't have a bowl of soup to eat. Amen. <laughs>